slander. And I know for many of us here today, the minute we quote the Bible, we say, man, you're preaching something else because I never heard that before. Then I don't know what preachers you've been listening to. I don't know what you've been watching online. Maybe, maybe the lovey-dovey pastors who tell you, you know what, continue to live in your sin. Continue to do you. And they preach another gospel. They make you feel comfortable in your sin. I'm here to tell you today, the, the, the message is not comfortable, man. It wasn't comfortable for me. I was confronted with my sin. I had, I had to open it up and I had to face it because I was living in sin. I was living in sexual immorality. I was doing things that I knew that I was guilty before God. And I had to humble myself and say, you know what? Okay, you know what? I, Lord, I accept you. Your ways are better than my ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts and I'm, I'm gonna follow your word. But for a lot of us here today, it's hard to accept. It's hard to accept the message of Jesus Christ today. Come to the Lord today, my friends. Jesus Christ loves you today to lay down his life for you, but not for you to remain in your sin. God is not going to see a lot of people here today. I've seen people who said, I want to give my life to the Lord. But that very same day, they're watching pornography. They say, you know what? I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. But, but as soon as they say that prayer, they're just going and just living in sin. See, the problem is there is something that we're struggling with inside that's hard for us to give up our sin to follow God. And that's why we don't have that revelation that there is a better way, that there is a better path, that Jesus Christ can fill that void inside of you, that you don't have to live for the weekends anymore, that you don't have to sleep around with Tom, Dick, and Harry, that you don't have to go on those social media apps for one night stands anymore, that you don't have to go to the clubs anymore to look for love and acceptance. You don't have to live like that no more, man. That you can find it in Jesus Christ. You can find it in the Lord. God will fill the void inside of you, man. Jesus Christ is Lord. A lot of here, people here today, I don't think, maybe you call yourself Christian guy, I don't know, but have you been born again? Have you been born again of the Spirit? Have you been born again from above? A lot Not of us here any today spirit. haven't been born again. And we don't know what that's like. We don't Not know what it's like to experience only, but by God. Water and we don't know spirit. what that's like to have a relationship with God. We don't. We don't. Nobody here wakes up and says, you know what, yeah, I want to pick up my cross and I want to, I want to follow Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm ready. Usually, it's until maybe something happens in our life. Usually when, it, you know, we come to God, maybe we're at our lowest point. Usually, you know, when, when there's just nothing else for us and we, we, we say, you know what, man, I, I give up. But I want to let you know today, my friends, man, the Bible says, what will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your own soul? What will it profit you to... Go. Thank you, bro. What will you... Hail Mary, full of grace. And lose your own soul, man. 